everybody. How are you doing? It's Thursday. It's our second Magic Math session of the week. And today I'm going to be following on a little bit from what Miss Sally was doing yesterday. So she sent you an email, didn't she, yesterday and encouraged you to make some Play-Doh. And I've already had some photographs back from some children to show their lovely Play-Doh worms. So that's fantastic. So I'm really pleased that you actually enjoyed doing that. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit today because I don't have Play-Doh. I, I was going to make some Play-Doh, but then my big girl, Ella, she went into school on Monday, I think it was, and she came back with some clay. She has been doing clay in her art class and her teacher gave her some clay and said you can do some clay things at home. So I just did a little sneaky thing and I asked Ella, can I borrow your clay, sweetheart, to make some Play-Doh? make some worms for the children and she said yes. So I'm going to make my worms today out of clay just to show you what we're going to be doing but they'll look exactly the same as your play-doh ones do because it's the same sort of sensation I can still roll it in my hands I can still make it into a wormy shape okay and that's all that matters but first of all I am going to put my magic math glasses on because I want to talk to you about measurement. So we better get that magic working first, otherwise my mathematical brain is not going to work. All right, so here goes. There we go. Magic's beginning. Oh, I can feel it. So what's different today then about what I'm doing and about maybe what you did yesterday? Well, the difference is the measurement side of it. Yesterday you might have just rolled some worms, some of them might have been long, some of them might have been short, but I bet you didn't measure them, did you, against your special ruler. Now I sent your mums and dads these sheets with lots and lots and lots of these rulers on them and if you want to today you can just use one or you could use all of them. I'm going to show you two different ways. If you haven't got a printer and you couldn't print them out, that is absolutely fine. You might have just wanted to copy one 25 centimetre ruler. And if you didn't do that and you're using a normal plastic or wooden ruler, that's okay as well. All right, but for today, I'm going to use the one that I sent you to be printed out because then you can see the numbers very, very clearly on it. So we're using the measurement today, the measurer, because what we're talking about today is standard measurement. That's a big fancy word, which really means it's a measurement that everybody uses. Certainly everybody uses it in England and I think everybody uses it in the world really. It's a standard measurement. And what we're using today is centimetres. Each one of these little boxes is a centimetre. And this ruler goes all the way up from zero, all the way up to 25, okay? It's actually starting at one, sorry children. It's one to 25 on this one. They haven't counted the zero, the zero's off all the way up to 25. All right, so each time we measure something, it gets longer by one centimeter being added on every single time. Okie dokie, so that's what we're gonna do today, standard measurement. But to do measurement, you've got to have something to measure. It's no good just having that ruler and not having anything to measure against it. So that's where our worms come in. We're going to get our clay and you've got your Play-Doh. And I'm today, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make lots of different worms and then we're going to measure how long they are on that 20 mark, 25 centimetre ruler. And then we're going to write down how long they are might make some thick ones, some fat ones. Don't all need to be skinny worms, do they? Those worms that we saw in the video, 
of my sister-in-law's wormery, they were all different thicknesses, weren't they? Some were very, very skinny, but some were a bit fat, probably because they'd been eating that big banana skin. I don't know. Right, I'm gonna keep rolling. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? I like using Play-Doh and clay and things like that. It's nice to squidge it in your hands, isn't it? Really, 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 really good, right? Make it longer and longer and longer, that one. That's a nice long one. I might make a really little one. Just a little tiny one. Have you found any worms in your gardens? Have you been looking for them? It's been quite good weather for worms because remember when I told you that the worms come up when it rains? When it's nice and warm, if all of a sudden we get a tiny bit of rain, those worms will come wriggling up out of the soil. But then, do you know who's sometimes waiting for them at the other end? The birds. The birds wait. And they wait for those worms to poke their heads out, out of the garden, out of the lawn, the grass and the soil. And when they do that, they get them in their beaks and pull them out and then eat them. They do. Nature. It's a funny old thing, isn't it? Some of those animals are there to eat each other and it's all very, very strange. Right, let's see how many worms I've got now. If I pull my piece of paper up a little bit closer to me, you might be able to see them better. Can you see those? Let's count them, shall we? I've got one. Two, three, four, five. I've got six worms, but let's see how many rulers I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one is eight. So if I've got six worms already made and I've got to get to eight, how many more worms do I need to make? Six. Two more. Two more worms I need to make, you're right. So here we go. Here we go then, here's that one. Da, 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 da. My worms are looking a bit white, aren't they? My worms are. One there and the last one. Here's the last one. It looks a bit. Make it a tiny bit longer because really we want them all to be different, don't we? Because then they will all measure different lengths. We call it a length when we're measuring long ways. We call it lengths. So, so we'll be measuring the length of them and then we'll be writing down the number of how long they are and then we'll have a little look and see which is the longest and which is the shortest. All right, so here we go. Number one worm. Here's my first ruler. I'm going to put the ruler there and I'm doing it upside down so that you can see it. So I need the very end of the worm up against the numbers if you lie it on the blue bit there you can actually see now if I squidge that down I might be able to pick it up and show you closer to the camera actually just how long that worm is can you see that can you see how long that worm is measuring that's what we're going to do so that worm is measuring, I'm going to count all the squares that are lying at the side of that worm. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that first worm is 20 centimetres long. 
So I'm just going to swivel that around and write that down for you and show you the way that we write centimetres because we do 20 curly k, k and a m at the side and it looks just like that. Right, let's do this next one. This one's a little bit rounder, a bit thicker. Now, does it look longer than the first one or does it look shorter? It looks shorter, doesn't it? So let's have a go. We do the same thing again. We lie it down against the numbers and we count from tip to tip how long it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that one is eight centimetres long. Eight. I'm not very good at writing upside down, everybody. I'm not going to do that. Eight. K -m. Eight centimetres, that one. Right. Let's try this one. That one looks longer than eight centimetres, doesn't it? Definitely. But we'll just measure exactly how long it really is. Right, here we go then. So a different ruler for that one. Remember, I'm using all the rulers today, but you don't have to. You can do it in a different way. You can just measure yours. You can just do it at, this, at the side of the same ruler and just write down the different worms. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's one more centimetre longer than that one at the top. Ooh, okay. 21. Two. That's two lots of ten. And a one. Mm. 21. I think we'll leave that long one till the end. So we've got... A very teeny weeny one now. A little teeny weeny one now. Let's measure that one then. Now you're getting the hang of it. Do you want to take a guess at how many centimetres you think that one might be? The other one when it was 21 was really quite long. So how many centimetres do you think that might be? Do you think it's just one? Two? Three? Shall we have a look? Well, it's not quite four, so if I make it just a tiny bit shorter, then it's a bit easier. So it's one, two, three. Oh, it's a little tiny baby worm. Three centimetres long, that one. It's so light, it rolled off the ruler. Three. Hmm. There we go. Three centimetres for that one. Now... We'll just do this one. Here's another one. Let's put a blue ruler down. There we go. There's a nice long skinny one, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you getting the hang of it now? That one's ten. I'm going to try and squeeze another one in the bottom. This one here. This one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, eight actually. Eight. That's interesting, isn't it, when you look carefully? Eight and eight. And we'll put another one here. Two more worms left to measure. And then we might order them into which one is the longest and which one is the shortest. So here we go. Here's that long worm. How long is that one? How long is that one? Okay, from tip to tip, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 
So that one's 22. And finally, the very, very last worm, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. So, eleven. And what we would do now is we would work out which one is the longest and which one is the shortest. Now remember this one was 22 centimetres, this one is 11, this one was 10, I haven't got room on my paper, and this one was 8. And this is the hard bit really, I think I've got clay. Oh, I thought I got clay all over me. This is the hard bit really because this is where you've got to know your numbers in order because you've got to know which is the smallest and which is the biggest. So let's look at those numbers. We've got some small numbers. We've got eight and we've also got three. But is eight more than three? Yes, it is. It's five more, isn't it? So three must be our smallest worm. I'm going to move this now. We'll take them off. Might put them actually on a tray for this bit. Three centimetres is our smallest worm. There it goes at the top. So the next ones must be the eight centimetres and they, there were two of those, they're like twins, two exactly the same, two eight centimetre worms. And so that's those. Now what could be the next number? We've got three, eight, we've got, we've got one here that is ten centimetres, I think it could be that one. Should we try that one? Let's put the 10 centimetre worm there. And then let's put the 11 centimetre worm down. That one's 11. Can you see how they're just starting to get a little bit longer? And we can see how different they are. Then we've got 20 centimetres, 21 centimetres, and finally, the longest of all is 22 centimetres and you should be able to see there's like a pattern there where they're growing longer and longer and longer and if we did it that way we're not really talking about going up today but you can see that it would be a bit like they're growing taller 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 tallest smallest but today we're doing longest and shortest well, I think I better wear out my hands and wash my hands now and put my daughter's clay back before she shouts at me. <laughs> Why don't you have fun measuring your worms? Have a go with your Play-Doh. Maybe you could make one that's really, really long. That's longer than the ruler. Maybe some of you clever clogs might want to stick two rulers together and find out how long that ruler can be if you've got two of them and make a really 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 long worm what's the longest worm that you can make before maybe it falls off your table or falls off your work surface like me in the kitchen what's the longest one and what's the shortest one what's the really really, really, really tiny one the shortest one that you could ever make and have a go with your standard measurements see how many centimeters they measure and have a go at writing that down as well. Okay everybody, have fun with your rolling and your measuring and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Bye bye. Bye bye.